We learned about classes previously, so it's a great opportunity to talk about decorators, which are like higher order functions. So what is a higher order function? A higher order function is a function that takes another function as an argument or returns a function. But the power of decorators is they can hook into a class and its method or properties so you can end up with composable and reusable pieces of code logic. So for example, if you're not familiar with higher order function, we can, for example, say outer and then you can pass it arcs or whatever. And then you have another function inside, which is basically the inner function, and you can do whatever, right? So basically just to understand the mental model of decorators. So let's look at some other examples, if I remove it here. So I don't really understand Angular, so I just use this to show you as an example. But as you can see here, here is a decorator component that has a selector template URL, and I even saw you can pass styles, which is right above this expert class, hero, list components, implements, whatever. And this really tells Angular what to do with this right so it's less verbose and if you even go up here you can see an explanation the metadata for a component tells angular where to get the major building blocks that it needs to create and present the component and its view so that's really interesting another example of a popular library is nest.js and creating a route so look how clean this code is so to create a route simply in nest.js you can use a controller decorator and you can just pass the cats as the path and then you have expert class cats controller, which is really important. So the decorator is above it, so you can hook into it. And then you have another decorator that's get above the find all method. And we can even read the explanation. So the get HTTP request method decorator before the find all methods tells Nest to create a handler for a specific endpoint for HTTP request. So you can really see that this is really more for library authors and creators to make awesome experiences like this. And you're probably not going to use decorators yourself. Decorators are also what's called, and watch out this fancy term, it's called meta programming. So yeah, Maybe this isn't something meant for us mere mortals, but yeah, let's take a look at a silly example I made. In this example, I'm going to have a Pokemon that's going to have a level up method. And basically we're going to use decorators to see if the Pokemon has the required experience to level up or not. And it's a really goofy example, but yeah. So first to enable decorators, because they're experimental, we can go to our trusty TS config and we can just add here. Let me just go to the end and we can add experimental decorators and we can set this to true and now we can use decorators. So let's look at the example. So first let's implement the class Pokemon. So we can say class Pokemon, then we're going to have a constructor. I'm going to say private name string, then we're going to have experience. Experience. Be a number. We're going to have evolution, it's going to be a string. Then we're going to have experience threshold. Some of these we aren't even going to use, so that's fine. Then we can return an empty constructor. And then we have an evolve method. So you can say evolve console log. And then we can say this name evolve to this evolution, right? And then we can even copy over this emoji. Do it like that. And then let's create we're going to pass for Pikachu a new Pokemon. Then we're going to give the first one. So it's going to be Pikachu. How much experience? 80. The evolution is going to be Raichu, right? And then that's going to require 120 experience. So what we expect here is to get the error when we log it out, right? So for Pikachu evolve, it should give an error, but this time it's not going to give any error. It's going to work just fine, which is a problem. Let me just get into TypeScript. Yeah, and then we can run it. So Pikachu evolved to Raichu, which shouldn't happen. So we can fix this by using decorators. And we do this by coming here over the method evolve and we can say required experience. And that's it. So we have to implement it. And how we do that is by creating a function. So you can say function required experience. And then if I go over here, here is some gnarly code, unfortunately, but yeah, just the example. Yeah, so we have to return a function. The decorator implementation inside required experience, and this is also known as a decorator factory. And there's a lot of these terms and a lot more about decorators if you're really curious. And it's called a decorator factory because it returns a function that will be called by the decorator at runtime. Yeah, so we can return the function and it has a bunch of things, but we can say target, we can say any property key string. We can say the descriptor is going to be property descriptor type 
type it out, that's great. Yeah, and then we're first going to use the original method. So we need to get the descriptor value. So we can say const original method is the descriptor value. And let's see what it says. Can descriptor, oh, instead of description, we need to use the descriptor, of course. Yeah, so it's going to fix it. So we're going to have the descriptor value and then we need to overwrite it. So we can say descriptor value, which is going to be a function. Then let's spread all the arguments. Let's give it an any types because we can be asked, right? <laughs> so let's say if this experience is higher than this experience threshold, right? And then we're going to use the original method. So we can say original method, then we can say apply this with the arguments, right? Otherwise we can say else, and then we can console log out our error. So we can say this name doesn't have doesn't have enough experience to evolve into and then we can say this evolution and let me just copy over this part too yeah and then let me just return so here we can just say return as i have it in this call return descriptor and that's pretty much it so we can say return descriptor so this is complaining with some types, but really don't care about. And remember what I told you before, don't let your editor bully you. And we can just say TypeScript, no check, and that's fine. So now this should work, of course. So if we go here, let me just clear everything. And now if we run it, we should get the error message. It doesn't have enough experience to evolve. So we can see the decorator in action. All right, so the moment of truth. Awesome, and it works. And this is probably one of those rare times when you're happy to see an error, right? Decorators can be really complicated and another great video you can watch to get a more clear picture of Type 3 Decorators is watching the Magic of Type 3 Decorators video from Fireship, which is awesome and also goes into more examples and even shows you how you can recreate React hooks in Angular using decorators. It's going to blow your mind. All right, so thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.